Hey guys, Roman here, and I have a transition tutorial for you guys. I haven't made a tutorial in a while, and um, it's a pretty simple tutorial. Just a nice, easy, smooth um, transition from the clip to the final kill cam. And you see, it's pretty easy. So I'm going to delete all of this right here, and then we'll get into the tutorial. So, um... Let's just drag this out. Let's completely start new. I'm gonna go all the way to where uh, the final kill camp starts as well. Okay, so that's good enough. So um, we're gonna wanna sync the transition with the snare. It just it would look better. So the snare starts right here, all over the volume for you guys. So what we'll do is we're gonna split the clip. Well, first, actually, what you'd want to do is um, find a way to indicate and see like where this um, frame would match the final kill cam. And one way that I did it for this is you can see right on the snare, he starts to switch or YY. So I'm going to split the clip and then we're going to zoom out. We're going to go all the way to the final kill cam. And right there, we actually just clicked on the right frame. He starts to switch, so we're going to split the clip there. We're going to delete everything in the middle. I'm going to bring this over. So now what we have is this. So it's a little choppy. So to make it a little smoother, we're going to go about, um, I don't know, 10, 15 frames forward just so it's smooth transition. Split the clip again to make the keyframing easier unless you want to do the auto sync, but I'm not going to go into that. Most people, um, you guys, you know, already know auto sync is for keyframing, but I prefer just doing splitting the clip. It makes it a lot easier. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to linear blur. And everything in this tutorial, you do not need a plugin for. You don't need all of this new blue, all that. So just keep in mind. So just linear blur, and um, you can choose which one you want. You know, you could do like medium or light extreme but whatever you want but I'm just gonna do a horizontal light and then I'm gonna make it just a little stronger about right there and angle is already set to zero so we're gonna click this clock to animate to keyframe and then you can see if I move this over the first frame that it's sitting on is where we sp the uh, first split is where we want the transition and the reason why we split the clip over here is because that means that's where we want to end, so we can just drag this slider all the way over. We don't have to do be very specific, you can just drag it all the way over as it can. Highlight all that, make it zero, and hit enter. So now what we have is we have a small kind of blur. But now um, we want to add more to that, and so you're going to want to go further up to Gaussian Blur. And I used the Medium Blur for this tutorial. And same thing, there's two, uh, there's a horizontal and vertical range. So you're going to want to click both of these clocks or stopwatches. And I'm just going to minimize linear blur because we don't need to do that. Scroll down, move all the way to the right. And we can set this to zero. And we can set this to zero. So now we can see what we have. And, you know, it's a little shorter than I'd want. You know, if I was actually doing a real edit, here actually, you know, here's um, a tip if you're wanting to extend your keyframes. If you think about it, it is the same clip, just because it's split doesn't mean it's changed. So let's say we want it to end here. We can split the clip, delete that, and then we can drag it over. Go into your um, event, and then you can just move the keyframes. And uh, that is one way that you could do it to extend it longer instead of like control Z everything so there you go it's much longer and smoother and you can see that it already has an easy transition what's nice about it is with the blur you can't really see and then you know when on blurs it comes back to round any kill and um, you could take out the linear blur I just like it because it gives it more of a daze effect and the way to bring in a color correction in, like I did with a preview, is really simple. You just copy what you just made and paste it above. 
and then you fade offset so what's going to happen is you're gonna keep this on source alpha so everything that's being previewed is on the top layer but it, since it's fading in this is basically like its opacity it starts where this is the clip showing and then this slowly becomes the dominant layer so if we go to put a color correction on it you can see it starts off the main clip from what you can see and then it slowly becomes the main color correction so yeah, let me just color correct that and then if we go back ram preview there you go so you know very simple transition it also looks really clean just thought I should make a tutorial um, since I haven't posted one in a while and that's pretty much it guys peace